joke. I think we were all uh, looking for that being a nil-nil draw. Yeah. It was it was panning out that way, certainly the way the game was going, and, and, and you've taken all three points, just the yeah. emotions in the dressing room. Um, the relief for the end, getting the goal, but I think we started a bit slow and it was a bit sticky, and we weren't great today, I don't think. We, we know we can do better, but yeah, it's the first game of the season, and all we wanted was three points, and that's what we got in a clean sheet. So can't ask much more really can you be overcooked because it felt almost you wait that extra week it was yeah. it's almost you were too ready in some yeah. respects yeah i know i thought that but i don't know it just didn't click a bit like first half mm. but um but we got to, we got time we got time to work on it and get better but yeah like i said three points is the main thing we did that so yeah. everyone's happy does it take a little bit of time to, to integrate new players i know that they've had the, the summer period with training pre-season training etc but yeah. You, nothing's like a game like no, this. Nothing, nothing is like it, is no, it? No, you can play as many pre-season friendlies as you want, but when it comes down to a league game, it's totally different. You've got to get up to speed straight away, and that's what I think that's what we need to. We, we were doing first half, getting up to speed and sharpness, and at the end, but they tired, I thought, and we were, we looked a bit more fitter in them, and yeah, we looked like we, we got the goal. So yeah. Tough, tough side though to, to, yeah, to come up with on the first game. You know, they had a game plan. They were very difficult to break down, and they did yeah. what they did quite well. Yeah, well, Portsmouth couldn't score past them last week, and I think they're yeah they're, they're going to be a solid team all season. I think yeah. they won't get many goals in. Um, they look, yeah, they look solid. Back five, but uh, yeah, we got the win, and that's, that's all we care about now. The next game. Um, former e, uh, MK Dons player Ethan Ebanks Landell, yeah. part of the goal for MK Dons. Is it an own goal? Is it Reese Healy's goal? What's going on? Reese is claiming it, yes, but I, know, no, I, I can't really see it down. I was down there, so I just sort of go in the back of the net, and I sort of cared about, and I ran to, to Reese. So. Yeah, I don't know whose goal it was. I don't really care, but no, I don't think anyone in the stadium <laughs> cares to be honest with you, because yeah. there, there was a lot of a lot of pleasure in that goal. And yeah. I mean, do, do, do you felt you deserved the win in the end? Probably just about. Yeah, I think we could have done better, but we probably deserved the win in the end. We kept going and going, and, but uh, yeah, I think we deserved it. And players still to come back from injury. Yeah. Players like Alex Gilby, you know, Bailey got some time today yeah. as well. These are all imp- important yeah, players yeah, who will yeah. add something to the side. Yeah, I think when they come on, they don't. Reece, they all done well when they come on. Reese, Reevesy, and Bailey. We had a strong bench today. Like any, any of them could have started had anyone. And yeah, we got we got a strong squad. We got to all push each other. Everyone wants to start, but uh, it's all half a competition. We're talking a competition. Russell Martin's back there shouting the orders. He's very vocal, isn't he? Yeah. Telling everyone what to do and have it. You know, you're an experienced player, Joe. And then you've got yeah. Russell Martin next to you. He's got yeah, probably even more experience. Yeah. I mean, he's experienced back line. Yeah, he's Russell's got all the experience. He's played international football. He's played Premier League football, and he knows what he's talking about. So uh, it's important that he, 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 he plays a big part in the team and the dressing room, getting everyone going. And he's, he, he coaches people as well, and yeah, he's a massive help to me and all the other boys in the changing room. And, I think he's a classic player. Shows on the pitch. Okay. Yeah, if I can. Um, next up, then in the League Cup, it's AFC Wimbledon. It's that game that, of course, Milton Keynes Don supporters look forward to. I think, to a certain extent, the rivalry's there. You, you know all about this game. What, yeah. what, what are your feelings ahead of it? Um, I haven't really thought about it until like now after the game. All I was thinking about is the Shrewsbury game. But yeah, we're going to look forward to it. Everyone's going to be excited for it. All the fans are going to be up for it. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be, everyone's gonna uh, go for it, and we want to get into the next round. Does, does, does the kind of abuse that you might face ever phase you when you're playing, or do you? Do, I mean, do you yeah. hear any of it? Or yeah, you hear it, but it don't it don't phase you. It's football, and it? you, you know what you're gonna get. Um, you just gotta enjoy it, enjoy the atmosphere, and I think the better atmosphere, the better you should play. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it.